Okay, so it is June 29th. I'm at the same H-E-B where I found these cars. I'm grabbing the Superfly and at the Toy Story section, they have the Pixar diecast mashups. And they only have Buzz Lightyear left, but there's four pegs. So it's not at the car section, but it's with the Pixar stuff. And this is made in Vietnam. Huh, so I'll save this for July's monthly unboxing. Hopefully I can find the other guys so we can do a Vietnam comparison to the China ones. So I'll be taking this one and Superfly that I accidentally left the other day when I picked up the license sounds Jackson Storm. So there we go, two cars. Now I'm at Walmart, uh, briefly around 15 minutes away from out, uh, where I live. And let's see what the cars are here. I haven't been to this Walmart in a while, so I don't know what to expect. Okay, let's have a look. I see another Corporal Josh, Corporal Josh Coolant in my bed. That stupid mask is making it hard to talk. I don't see any of those new mini packs or rocket racers. And I doubt Walmart has the, oh, it's okay. I doubt, well, I doubt Walmart has the Pixar mashups, but these are all just picked over. This is all just boring stock. To me, at least. Some people, of course, may not have Josh or the Rocket Racing, and, you know, the new five pack, but uh, it's just like leftovers, I guess, from a bunch of different cases. Because I see several Noahs, a few Paul Conrads, a few liabilities, you know, just random stuff. This pack always catches my attention for some reason. Anyways, yeah, nothing good at this Walmart. This hunt isn't off to a good start. It is July 3rd and I'm at Julio Cepeda and I found some... Oh, okay. What the heck? I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Oh, it doesn't work. Ah, come on, work. Nope, they don't work. This is a uh, Julio Cepeda. And, uh, yeah, this is what they got. I found two color changes at the car section. I'll go there in just a bit. Pretty cool. It's at a mall, so it's a lot smaller. Incredibles 2. Oh, there's more car stuff right here. So, they have these. And then all these Jackson Storms that are 20 inches. More of the Primer Lightning McQueen haulers. So yeah, see there's a bunch of those. These are 749 pesos. And just so you guys get an idea how much that is. How much is 749 pesos in US dollars? $33. Bucks. I think mine was more, more expensive than that. Sorry. One more time, thirty-three dollars and forty-two cents. Whatever. They have all of these incredible figures that you don't see so often in stores anymore. They have a lot of the story sets. That's pretty cool. Oh, what happened to Ramon? Rip. Yeah, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool store. They have a lot of those Primer McQueen haulers. Is that a what is that? Oh, it's a Mac hauler gonna get copyrighted with the music let me cut it off okay so looking at these cases i see a disney Pixar cars fireball beach dual playset which is more than likely that one right there found some more cars here they got some deluxes they got charlie cargo and vinyl toupee cab as well as the transberry juice cab two of those pretty cool and then they got some plane sets up here two different ones Sí, esos dos nomás. Este creo que sí. No me acuerdo si tengo este o no. There's a snot rod. ¿Dónde? Do I have this one? I don't think so. So here are all the minis. I think so. 
Which one? This one. Do I or no? No, see, sí. creo que ya lo tengo este. Oh, you already have that. Yeah, we were looking for descendant stuff and ta-da, there's some descendant stuff or merch here. Is this in Spanish? Oh no, it's in English. No, copyright, copyright. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So here's the mall I'm at. It's pretty empty. But um, yeah, got, got my cars. All right, so now we're at Liverpool and the hunt begins here. And they got some of the newer cars. Pretty dope, 149 pesos. Kurt with bugs, uh, Noah Gokek, Farting Face Mater, Francesco. Ooh, this, this is semi rare, I guess. I like how they have them organized by the dates that they came out. So 2018, 2020, dope. Let's see, what other car stuff do they have around here? Okay, so there's Disney Store stuff here. Está bonito este vaso. Look, Bo Peep. Bo Peep. No se abre. Oh. These are dope cups. You don't see these in the US. Well, not at Disney Store, at least. So, yeah, so there's a. There's a Firulais. Where? <gasps> El Firulais. Mamá, ¿puedo salir con mis amigos? Que no, ponte lavar los trastes. Está bueno. Okay, so, I found it. Here are the figures I missed last time. Oh, yeah. The 25 year ones. So they have Rex. Yes. Bo Peep with the cape and the staff. Buzz Lightyear. Monday? Mm -hmm. There's more Toy Story over there. Okay. Forky. So we'll go right now. And there's a Forky. Does it talk in Spanish or English? It just screamed in. Okay, he screams in trash. How about that? Okay, so I'm freaking out right now because there's a lot of more Toy Story stuff I found. So they have the Pizza Planet Minis Mania claw machine with the alien. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. But, oh my gosh, I can't take everything. And then I found this Buzz Lightyear that talks in Spanish from the signature collection that I've been wanting forever. Oh my gosh, but it's so expensive. It's like 2,709 pesos, which is about 120 bucks. I'm so tempted for this one. And then they have JC in Spanish also. It's amazing. Jesse la vaquerita que canta. A ver, a ver, a ver qué cantas, pues. Cantas bachata o... Then they have the drop down figures in Spanish. More Jessies, a Bo Peep. Does she talk? Yeah, she's, she's a Bo Peep. Yeah, she talks. And then Cut Light Years. Spaceship, another Buzz. More Buzz Light Years. What are these? It's like a mystery box type of thing. 209 pesos. I wonder what it is. There's so many cool things. And then on this other side, they have this water blaster backpack and that popcorn bucket I've seen before, but this is the cool thing. The Gabby Gabby okay. antique shop set with the combat curls, Forky, Woody, Bo Peep, Duke Boom, Gabby Gabby. And Buzz Lightyear. And then I saw this set. I don't think I've seen this in the US before, but I really want this set. This is adorable. I freaked out because I thought these were the interactive ones, but they're just the stock standard ones. So if you pull Woody's string on the back, Spanish. Let's see the prices on these. I don't see a price, but this is pretty dang cool. I I'm speechless. I mean, this is. A Toy Story dream come true. I am uh, like almost everything you could ever want that's new from Toy Story or collectible. It's right here. I mean, I am just wow. There's so much to choose from. Honestly, it's interesting more me more than the cars because I mean, there's so much. And here's a 25 anniversary talking Woody. Wait a minute. Look, there's a 
There's a Jesse. Yeah, but I don't think they actually have this thing. Of cars? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go right now. I'm just looking at these things because like it's a dry cast. So yeah, there's a lot and then also found a slinky back there. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna choose. I found someone else back here. Zerg. Zerg. I remember you used to have Zerg when you were smaller. Really? Yeah. Who knows what happened to him, but there he is. Alrighty, so Bob Buzz, Forky for the Toy Story series and the minis. And here's the mall. Oh, okay. Pretty, pretty cool. Not too many people around here, so hooray. All right, guys, so I thought I'd share this at the end of the video. You guys know at how some of the stores I was looking for these new mini packs and whatnot. Well, I haven't found them in stores and I really want to review them for you guys. So I decided to get most of the stuff I needed online, if not all of it, because I'm up to date because I found on online all of the mini racers I was missing from the yellow box and the purple box. And I also got that custom McQueen with the boot from Get Me Collectibles as well as the Goldenness Fritter. Now we got Union Jack Ramon, Silver Series, um, Jeff Corvette, Silver Series Lightning McQueen, and Metallic Jonas Carvers. Popular one amongst Cars fans, in my opinion. And then we also got the Cozy Cone Motel Series. I don't know why they called it that. It's showing the three characters that appear at the very end of Cars 1. So there's that. And then here's another cool one. Willie's Butte Race Series, the end of Cars 3. So two end scene packs. This one has Saludo Amigos Ramon, right? Saludos Amigos Ramon, yep. And then over here we got the newest wave of XRS racers. These are made in Vietnam, I believe, or Thailand. Yeah, Vietnam. So the eyes look a little bit different. So I'll be able to compare these to the China counterparts. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna review all of this stuff yet, but so far I have planned for sure this as a separate review. Uh, review because honestly this is too much for one monthly unboxing and I feel like the monthly unboxings have been getting kind of lengthy so to split it up and get it you know into shorter lengths of time I'll be trying to do 10 to 15 minute reviews on each of these sections so this will be one section this will be another section of uh, mini races hall and then a third section of just special metallic and silver cars and then over here, I think this is what I'm going to say for the monthly unboxing. So I got the Jackson Storm with the Piston Cup from Toys R Us. Uh, this thing right here that's covered in a felt piece of fabric is this from, what is it, San Diego Comic Con or D23? I'm not sure, but when you press this button on the side, it lights up. So there's that. And then from Mexico, at Julio Cepeda, I got Color Changes Ramon and Sheriff and I believe it also was at Julio Cepeda yep there we go 119 pesos which is about five bucks we got Bob Pulley from the no idea what that series is maybe Tokyo series and then we also got Drift Party Mater another classic and then I got the Radiator Springs Team McQueen paint job um, Disney Star diecast as well as the metallic uh, Dragon Lightning McQueen. Th those two were loose, they weren't in package or anything. And then we got Cam Spinner with the Blast Wall. I don't have Paul yet, but I am gonna order him soon. And then we got Wasabi Mouth Mater, Dirksen Diagostino, and Hank Halloween Murphy. I think this is what I'm gonna save for July's monthly unboxing if I don't find anything in stores this July. So this will be a backup. And if I don't find anything in August, then I'll just do all of this as one lot. But more than likely, I will uh, find stuff in August, hopefully. So th that's why I'm thinking of doing just three separate uh, reviews for each one of these um, sections. But that's pretty much it. That's a mini update on the whole, um, you know, what I have in my studio or in my room, I, sh I should say. All the stuff we have for the future. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And Piston Cup Productions, signing out.